I used to receive ILF, which is Independent Living Fund. It doesn't exist anymore. And uh, the thing is, um, I had over 40 hours. In fact, to be precise, it was 40. It was actually 43 hours um, support that I received. And that was when I was living in London at the time. And then I moved to York and then it's gone down to uh, 16 hours. I had my ILF. Um, removed because that was countrywide and then I had 16 hours I, I then had um, a new social care manager who's recently said to me that uh, I'm going to be um, my hours are going to be cut down to um, zero from from 16 uh, just to, why is that then just explain what they've said to you why why your payments are going to be reduced well I have to say that they don't they're not even giving me a proper answer I mean um, uh, the, the, the social care manager um, she didn't she doesn't even know about cerebral palsy and that's related to being brain damaged and so when when she admitted that and that she was going to do some research that really really shocked me but now, is it is it a case though have you been assessed is that is that the issue here have, have, i have been assessed and it's very much down to the individual people who do the assessments right. but i have to say the social care managers they used to be called social workers now they call so, uh, social care managers they are not equipped and they lack skill in knowing how to assess people well, with disability. Just yeah. let us know what you were asked to do or, or some of the things you were asked to do in your assessment, just to give us some context. Well, I'm, I'm also very concerned about uh, the kind of questions that I were asked, like I wear earrings, for example, and I was told... Uh, who put your own ear you know do you put your own earrings in or who 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 does your eye shadow it becomes quite you know it becomes quite silly i mean it I mean, some of the questions that you actually get asked is quite ridiculous. 